multiple ones. I have to say that I was raised to believe that you research all the options and then you figure out which one's best and then you do that. So that seemed like a good way to handle my career. And I did. I researched all the options. I figured out what I most wanted to do and the company I most wanted to work for when I graduated from college. And I got an offer from them. And I went to work for them. And um, I was there for a year. And I loved it. And at the end of the year, I was 23 years old. And the professional services industry in Boston in 1990 kind of collapsed. Um, everybody who was here working for law firms, consulting firms, and banks when I say everybody, I mean everybody my age at the time, got laid off. And, um, and that was very shocking to me. I mean, I, I told you before, I had, my dad was worked for the phone company for 35 years, and I went to work for this one company, and I thought, I'm going to be here, maybe not 35 years, but for many years, I found a job, I figured out what I'm going to do, I'm making a contribution, and I like it. And um, the, the economy really fell apart, and so many people got laid off and I was caught up in that. So I think that was a pivotal moment because I realized a couple of things. One, it was the first time I ever started my own business, which I ended up doing out of necessity um, because it was very hard for a 23-year-old to get a job at that point in organizational development. Like, how was I supposed to be an expert in organizational development when I'd only been working <laughs> a full time for one year? Um, and the other thing was learning for bouncing back. I can't think of the word right now, but um, resilience. resilience. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> so learning resilience um, and learning that I was resilient, that I could deal with something that was going to happen unexpectedly in my career and turn it around into something else positive. And um, I want to share that in my over the course of my whole career, I've, laid my, I've been laid off three times, including one time when I had to lay myself off when I was the director of <coughs> HR and I had to write myself a whole letter. I'm like, Dear Deborah, we're so sorry to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought it to the CEO. I was like, sign this, okay. <laughs> um, and um, it can be really hard, but for my generation and maybe even for yours, I don't know, it's kind of a fact of life now. So what I thought was one of the toughest experiences um, when it happened, I mean, I remember just... I was so surprised, and I was just crying and crying and crying. I was crushed. Um, it was really a pivotal moment. It taught me how <coughs> my whole career has unfolded.